Hey guys, today I'll go through the achievement part of Guild Wars 2, that is the UI here, and the different um, different categories that you'll see over here. So, achievements in Guild Wars 2 are bound to your account, that means that what you'll be seeing here is what I have accumulated on all my characters. Which is a very nice feature, by the way, because... It means that yeah, you'll you'll be rewarded for everything you're doing, and it doesn't really matter which character you're playing on. It is your effort that is being shown here, not the effort of you have been putting into each individual characters. And I'm very much a fan of that. So first up, you'll see up here in the corner the total amount of points earned so far, which is 130 for me. You also see uh, any titles that you can select. Sadly, I haven't gotten any titles yet, but we'll see about that. Um, then we have the daily achievement. The daily achievement is something that you can do every day, it'll reset every night. Um, what you'll have to do is some rather simple things, which will then grant you some extra reward for doing that. So firstly on top you'll see the bar here, which is the overall progress bar. It's of course filled because I am at 100%, which it also says out here on the left. When I reach 100%, I'll get a chest. Um, the chest is just an icon that you can click. But once you click it, you'll then be rewarded with some some um, some gold, some XP, and maybe even some karma points. I'm not entirely sure about that. <clears throat> but that's all well and good, so you get a little bit extra if you actually manage to uh, complete your daily achievement. Besides from that, we have the individual achievements down here. We have the daily kill, we have to get 60 kills. We have kill the variety, variety uh, kill 15, 15 different types of enemies. Daily gather, or gather 20 things like uh, herbs or ore. And participate in five events. So as you'll see here, firstly, <coughs> I have, I've gained nine points from doing this today, which is uh, being counted up, up here. And you'll see they are, uh, well, divided out on each achievement in the order 2, 2, 2 and 3. So each achievement is each achievement in Guild Wars 2 actually, um, except a few ones, are actually separated up in tiers. So this one is a three tier um, achievement. And I've of course completed all of them. You'll also see the current tier you're on out here in Roman numbers. And down here we have that it says completed. That will not be the case if it isn't completed. What a surprise. But I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, I think actually. So yeah. All three, uh, all four achievements are done. I have completed all three tiers of each. I gained nine points. That is uh, also 13 tiers in total. Which is what I'll have to complete in order to get 100% progress. It all makes very good sense. Let's be honest. So, if you're moving over to the monthly achievement, you'll see, uh, of course, achievements for July, no surprise. Um, I haven't gotten that far yet, I've only gotten uh, completed one tier out of 16 here. And what we have done here is, I have to participate in some World vs. World, I have to participate in more events, salvage a lot of stuff, and get a lot of experience. Uh, again, these are separated up in... Uh, in tiers of four, all of them, and you'll see here that I've only earned one, uh, one achievement point so far. Besides from that, I, uh, you can see down here below, this is the monthly event participation achievement that I've gained one point from so far. But if you look down here, then it uh, there is a more uh, grayed out point, and that is the point I will earn for completing this tier. I'll only gain one from the event participation achievement, but I'll be getting two from the rest of them once I get through the first tier. And that can then change for the next tier. Right. After that we got the Slayer achievement. The Slayer achievement isn't the most interesting, uh, or the Slayer category isn't the most interesting in the world. It is basically just kill different types of creatures. You'll see it starts in the first tier, that's just killed 10 of whatever, like here we killed 9 of 10 indis indiscriminate slayers. Great. Uh, the spider, however, I am now in tier 2 and I have to kill 100 spiders to get to the next one. You'll also see that I'll be rewarded 5 points for completing this tier. 
Aside from that, I don't know. If you go down here to the bottom, we have one where I have to kill 500 now, and I'm on also on tier two out of three for some reason. Everybody, every other achievement in this category seems to be four, have four tiers. But all right, the hero category. Uh, it's stuff like collect skills, um, complete renowned hearts, complete events. Uh, you know, apparently I have to seek some kind of corruption around uh, Tyria for this one. Then we have a lot of story achievements, which I'm guessing you'll have to do on different races, for all I know. Um, I haven't completed any of them yet. We have dungeon stories complete. Uh, we have this one that's actually kind of funny with the uh, experience without death. I have so far only managed to get 9,593, but apparently you'll have to actually get 200,000 without death for managing to get this one. This is the part where you'll be happy it's it's uh, count wide. And then we have something called hint completion, and I am actually not certain what that is. Maybe it's just, you know, you get hint on the screen about different stuff, like uh, what is... Uh, a boon or when you have death penalty and stuff. I have no idea if that's the thing, so if you participate in every aspect of the game then you'll suddenly see all the hints. It may be, but I'm not certain. Next up we got the PvP Conqueror achievement. Um, that's basically, yeah, PvP, win PvP battles, uh, kill stuff in PvP, uh, kill stuff in tournaments, you know, ma gain glory points, all that stuff. Here we have though that it, when you gain 250 glory points, you will unlock a title, which apparently isn't a title right now. Usually it says what the title is, but you'll unlock a title and then you'll be going for the silver skirmisher, gold skirmisher, and so on. And that's actually all these seems to be chained together, which is kind of crazy. And I. Uh, might be that they will all award you a title for doing it. Tradesman. Uh, this is the crafting part of it, more or less. You'll see how much you've salvaged, you'll see how much you've gathered, uh, transmuted, how much you've invested in the Mystic Forge or in Lion's Ark. I'm going through that in another video from the last bit event, so you can find that in our channel. Uh, you have... You have the skills gained for the different, um, for the different crafts. And you have this one called Trade, Supplier and Consumer, where I'm guessing that's selling and buying stuff on the trading posts, although I'm not 100% certain. Then we have the Explorers category. The Explorers category, well, of course you have the different areas of the, ga of the game. Uh, Shiver Peak Explorer, uh, Meguma Explorer, stuff like that. Uh, I'm still pretty far way off, and this is only the first uh, tier out of four, so that's kind of a huge achievement, actually. We have some places that I haven't even been yet. Legendary collect, to collect legendary items. Yes, you have different stuff like this. Complete um, dungeon on the explorable mode. Uh, we have this treasure hunter where you have to complete treasure maps. Uh, sadly, there isn't much known about treasure maps yet, but it seems to be some kind of interesting way that players can interact by uh, putting up or setting up treasures for other players to find. Then we have all these different kind of puzzles that you can earn, and it doesn't say much about where they are at all, so that's something you'll just have to come upon in the world and, and figure out. I've actually managed to do one of them, which was uh, in the Silvari starting area, where I, I jumped up on some rocks in the sky and just kept on going forever and ended up in an area that was only accessible through this way, and I got the achievement for it. Uh, next thing I knew, I was getting my ass kicked by some monsters because I was getting in in an area that was too high uh, level. But um, that was actually a lot of fun, and you see there's a ton of these. And of course, you'll be able to eventually look them up on YouTube or or other places. But I really like the idea that you have to come upon these in the world and just just do them. Just have to see. Oh right, that's actually I can jump up there and then try and do it. Next, we got the fashion category. Um, this rewards you for gaining some speciality armor with the different races. 
and again not a lot is known except that it's four tiered category as which means you'll probably be able to get well at least four pieces of armor from the different uh from the different races and i'm i'm guessing they are some they're like really cool looking armor that you can then um, then use instead of your own i mean you have um you have items that allows your items to keep their stats but get a different look to them so i'm guessing that'll be how you can use these armors like they'll be really cool looking but they won't have any stats so you can just use their look on other items you have and then people can see what you've been been up to then we got the Weapon Master category. Uh, weapon Master, well, it's mostly killing blows with different kind of weapons. Axes, swords, daggers, stuff like that. Then we got the maximum damage you've done in one hit. And I have no idea how they're actually going to do this. If that's like the first tier, that's perhaps a thousand damage with one hit. And then the seventh tier, that's like one billion damage with one hit. How they're going to do that, it seems kind of odd, but... It's a nice little feature to have, though. Is there anything else of interest in here? No, not really. That is basically just kill stuff. Kill more stuff with weapons this time. Community. Um, yeah. You are, you are part of a guild and earn influence points. You collect mini pets. Stuff like that. Uh kill stuff uh, together with some allies where I use these cross-class combos like shooting arrows through firewalls and the arrows catch fire all that stuff uh, revive players as well apparently you'll get a combat healer title for that that's actually kind of nice mm, hall of monuments all right this one is a tricky one as far as I can tell these monument points is something you can you can link your guild wars 2 account with a guild wars 1 account and in the Guild Wars 1 account, you can, you can earn these monument points by playing Guild Wars 1, that is. And you'll then, you'll then get achievements in here based on how many points you've earned in your Guild Wars 1 account. Kind of an odd thing, but as far as I can tell, you're only getting titles for it. Though I did hear someone talk about items as well, but that will not be through here. At least it's not clearly visible that you'll be earning items. So Next up, we got the activities. Uh, activity seems to be these mini games that will be available in the world. So far, there's only the Keg Brawl activity available. I've been playing that a bit, and you should actually see a video in our channel about it. It's it's pretty damn cool, actually. And yeah, win them, score points, assist, uh, all that stuff. You know, it's basically just stuff you'll have to do in the game, and and you'll be rewarded for doing it, or rewarded. You'll get achievement uh, points for doing it also a title if you're mastering it i'm guessing you're getting this title when you have you know when all tiers are complete but i am not certain and of course there'll be more mini games available when the game release so that should this category should grow quite a bit last we got the world was world participate in the world was world um gain kills use supplies well, so escort caravans or, or you know, destroy caravans and stuff like that is what will uh, is what will give you um, any credit in this category. And there's also some titles available like ultimate transporter for escort some amount of caravans successfully. It doesn't actually say. Perhaps it's only one. I actually don't know what it will take to get this it, it's not very uh, obvious so anyways um, it's all well and good this but I think the main problem I have with these achievements in Guild Wars 2 is that it is mostly it's actually more statistic than it is achievements I'd say of course you could argue that you have achieved a hundred spider kill and that's awesome and stuff but it's not really something you're going out of your way to do. It's something you're going to be doing anyways while you level. Uh, so it just feels like a statistics or what you have, how many uh, different creatures you have killed or with which weapons you've been dealing the killing blows and stuff like that. But it 
it, it doesn't seem to be anything I have to go out of my way to earn, which I'm actually kind of disappointed about. I mean, personally, I prefer achievements that are much more... You can go out and do this in the world, but it's not something you would regularly do, because it's just some fun thing there is for you to find. I mean, the Explorer has that, right? They have the, the puzzle achievements, which is kind of cool, because you're not... They are not... It's not something you'll gain passively. That's actually something you'll have to go out and, and you know... You'll actually go and have to do them yourself, go out of your way to do them, if you will, because they're not easy uh, to do, they're not easy to find, and the reward isn't amazing. I'm pretty sure your time will be better spent doing other things. But they are fun and they are hidden and stuff, so that's actually something where you go out in the world to look for them. It's very rare that you'll just come upon them by, by accident uh, while you're leveling. Unless you're really keeping your eyes open, that is. So th those are kind of nice, and also... I guess maybe some of this, uh, these achievements in the world as well, where I actually have to escort caravans. It's not something I've seen people do yet. At least, so that's also people may change their behavior a little bit to get those. That's kind of cool. But all this, all this just kill stuff or yeah, kill more or win more. I'm not a big fan of that. At least not only that. I mean, it's cool that's there, but it would also be nice if there was s something else, so you could uh, actually work towards earning these achievements, because I really don't see that be the case right now. But. Uh, that's just me being cynical. Aside from that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be sure to give you more Guild Wars 2 content and content from other games in general. So, thank you for watching and see you later.